Welcome back, meteorologist Diamond Dixon taking a live look outside. Snoopy's Pier there. We really can't even see the clouds just because of how dusty it is out there in our upper atmosphere. We also had a few boats going by, also enjoying that nice hot weather that we have going on. Well, let's take a look here. All right, at our current weather, well, we're 89 in Corpus Christi, but we feel like 102 degrees with that southeast wind coming in at 17 miles per hour, but with wind gusts feeling like 28 miles per hour, so almost 30 miles per hour is what it feels like out there currently. Well, here's a look at our temperatures across the map. 88 there in Port Aransas and Ingleside, 90 in Rockport as well as the Naval Air Station, and 89 in Corpus Christi, 90 in Robstown. So we're kind of sitting into the low 90s, and as we move further inland, we're going to be a little bit hotter. You see those mid 90s across that side of your map there. Well, oh, well, this is fun. <laughs> this came into the mix here. Well, we don't have any rain there coming into our forecast there. Well, I'll show you a little bit more about our forecast here. Let's get right to it. I'll be with you in one second, guys. Let's just hang on. All right, we're going to take a look here at our air quality map. That's what I want to show you because of that Saharan dust working its way through the coastal bend. It will be affected mainly for today as we see most of the Saharan dust today. As we move through our Thursday and Friday, that's when it's not as bad. So it will improve as time moves along. Here's a look at your Saharan dust as it moves through the coastal bend, seeing the thickest plume of it moving through today. And as you can see, as we move through tomorrow morning, we'll be just at the end of it. And by tomorrow afternoon, that's when a lot of it's out the way and we could get a second plume of it this weekend. Well, our temperature and feel like I was mentioning as we move further into our evening time, our feel like temperatures will slowly, of course, decrease, but we'll still feel like we're in the triple digits because we are still a bit hot out there hour by hour as we work into our evening hours will be in the low 80s. That wind will come down just a bit more near the 10 miles per hour range and tomorrow morning will be just in the upper 70s before we heat back up for the day. So as we move into the evening time, I feel like temperatures near the coast will be a lot hotter and as we move further inland, they'll be more so into the upper 80s and then the upper 70s overnight into tomorrow. But then by 3 p.m. tomorrow, you'll see 110 on our map quite often. That's because it's going to be a hot one out there, but we won't know for sure if we'll be under any heat advisors yet, so just stick around for that. We don't necessarily have any chance of rain the next seven days. If we do, it's going to be very unlikely to stray showers that will get towards the end of this week. And here's a picture from Joe Sandoval. He was our weather watcher of the week. That's from our Coastal Bend Weather Watchers group on Facebook. That was some lightning in Mathis. So if you want to be like Joe, you can add your pictures as well, too. Well, we've been dropping. Okay, that what a tongue twister I've been having a problem with. Here's a tropical update tracking the tropics there. The National Hurricane Center is monitoring a disturbance there, but it's mainly in focus for Florida, so nothing for us to be worried about here along the Texas coast. But still, it's important to keep you updated. For our forecast highs today, once again, we'll be into the upper 80s to 90s as well throughout some of our viewing area. And here's a look at your seven-day forecast. Once again, it's going to be a hot and hazy one out there.